Sea of Everett cleared a controversial homeless camp near the heart of downtown today. It claimed health and safety concerns guided that decision. Camera 7's Renji Sinha talked to the man who established the camp and says some people did find housing. We did see people start packing up as early as 7 a.m. And then some of the crews that have been working with these people also arrived a little later in the morning to help them get their things together and get them off the land. They definitely need to leave because they had to be out by noon. That is when the city of Everett was going to move in. It worked out good. It worked out really good. Robert Delbrook is fortunate. He rode away from this homeless camp to new housing. Highlander Apartments over there. Out of these tents, onto a new place. Being an addict, I, I, I needed some help, you know, so... I got clean. For days, he's been in this camp with more than 100 other people until today, when the city of Everett told them to leave by noon. I won't transport somebody to the woods, so I don't know where they're, where they're going to go. Or Robert Smiley set up the camp and is taking it down. He says people had a chance at help until Everett's ultimatum. This is depressing. Problem we got is that the services that have been offered up here in Everett have been only half hearted. The city of Everett says the camp was unauthorized and a health and safety concern. With COVID 19, dozens of people in a tight space could be an issue, but Smiley says he never wanted to be here. I offered six out of the properties that were better suited than this. CDC guidelines do say if homeless people don't have a place to go, camps like this should remain. It's always wonderful in that moment when we ask him, are you ready to change? Jason Cockburn thinks it will be tough to find people solutions once they scatter. Will we see him walk in the street or will we see him on the news with a much different story? Cockburn and other advocates know businesses and residents were concerned about the camp, but they say it was working for some and it could have worked for everyone. Given more time, a lot of these people would be placed where they need to be. They had some hope. Now, once again, it's gone. Robert Smiley says the irony of all of this is that this camp was a temporary solution to begin with. It was only going to run until August 2nd, and he believes the city should have waited until then. In Everett, Runji Sinha, Cairo 7 News.